He was like, macho man said it's like, you got a problem with the ticket that I wrote? Skirt, I do. I'm drowning family, natural disasters. My baby has been around for me. So I'm coming to y'all today with a hat on and all black because I'm upset. I'm upset. I could have worn my helmet of salvation. You see a bonnet, I see the helmet of salvation. But baby, I didn't wanna do that. So here we are, I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on because it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. So let's start off with this ticket that I got. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know this is not, I am not a newbie to this ticket situation. But this ticket was not issued by like a Japanese police officer. This ticket was issued by base police. And what I mean by base police is I live on a military installation and so they have like police officers on base to issue tickets sometimes. And basically I was parked in a no parking drop off school zone kind of thing. But I was parked in front of like like people's homes in an empty parking space and I got a ticket. Good morning. So, I just got a ticket for dropping my child off at school when I parked. I didn't pull up and let my children out. I parked my car and I cannot read what this says. Yes, like not even 10 minutes ago. It's very funny how I get a ticket when everybody else is literally pulling up and letting their children out their car. You have a question about that ticket? Yes, I do. Because I parked my car and I walked my children to school, the, to a parking spot that's not assigned to a residence. The and there's millions of, there's millions, at least 10 this morning, oh, literally oh. pulling their car up and letting their kids out. But that zone right there says no school drop off, right? Okay, but did I get, did I let my kids out the car and drop them off? Or did I walk them to school because I have a kindergartner that's supposed to be walked to their class? Yeah, can you calm down? I, have, I really have a problem with this. First of all, I can't read what you wrote. It's literally illegible. It can get you another copy. This is ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. Because the school is supposed to be open so that we can drive around and drop our children off. When when he's out there, you're not supposed to actually go in. There's millions of people literally parking their car right in front of his truck and letting their kids out the car. And I didn't see him get out not one time to give them no ticket. But I parked my car to walk my children to school because they're in kindergarten yeah. and I get a ticket. I understand your frustration. Hmm. Okay. So, I'm sorry for my temper. <laughs> But that really pissed me off because for why like why the kids literally have two more days of school left and you give me a ticket and granted there is no monetary i guess value for like a better word right now for this ticket but still but still so i'm gonna contest this ticket but I'm gonna move on with my day because the devil, child. I woke up in a good mood. The devil really knows how to kill, steal, and destroy for real. By the way, I'm eating sunflower seeds. I'm gonna calm down, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna get myself together and we're gonna move on with our day because we have things to do. I'm shocked just like you because I have seen so many people park in this area and the police officers not give them no ticket. Like literally not say anything. And I feel like because it was like almost the last day of school, they was like, we gonna be ruthless today and just start issuing tickets. So anyway, long story short, the thing that irritated me the most is that homeboy who issued me the ticket, first of all, didn't have 
legible handwriting. I could not read anything homeboy wrote, okay? And then when he came into the building, he was like, macho man said it's like, you got a problem with the ticket that I wrote? Skirt, I do, sir, yes I do. Because first of all, I can't read what you wrote, that's number one. And number two, you're not gonna buck up on me like I'm scared, like no sir. What we not gonna do is like put this superior thing on because baby, we put on our pants the same way. Hindsight is 2020, I shouldn't have parked there and it just is what it is. Child, a few days after that, home girl got crabs. So guess what? We're playing in the water and Daniel found a crab. Look. Wait. Let me show you. He's in there. That's <laughs> so cool. Okay. Okay. You see him in there? So I'm about to put him in the water. Let's put him in the water. Okay. Let's put him in the water. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. There he is. You see him? You see him? He's coming out. He's coming out. You see him? Yeah. He's right here. Look, you see him? He's coming out. No. You see his life off. Look, watch this. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see him? Wow. Wow. Put him down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Daniel, you found a crab in the seashell. Oh Are you proud of me? Yes, I am very proud of you. Look at him. You moving? You see him moving? He loves water. Wow. Don't touch his face. Wait, what's he gonna do to you? Nothing. But what? My son did find a crab and it was so cute. Like we played with the crab and everything like that. It was a good time. We had a great time at the beach. But after the beach is where it got a little sketchy. So me and my two children, my boys, are walking up the street and this guy is riding his bike down the street. And so let me just give you a visual. I don't have a shirt on. I do have my bathing suit on. It's like one piece and I got a little cleavage showing, you know, cause I got a little, you know, I got to show a little something, something. So I don't have a shirt on, but I do have like shorts on. And so you can see a little cleavage and me and the boys are walking up the hill and homeboy is coming down on his bike. So we get, oh, not a mat, not a mat. <laughs> so we get in the car and I see homeboy like peeking. Like I can see him in my rear view mirror, like, peeking around the other cars and I'm like so we were walking up the sideway to come back to the car and there's this Japanese man that keeps like staring into the car I'm trying to see if he comes back because he rolled his bike down the hill while we were walking up and now he's literally stalking our car like what is the problem sir you think he's gonna come back uh, no I'm about to see I'm about to see where he went because he's literally stalking, stalking us. Like, what? What's wrong with him? Did I drop something? There he is. Weird. There he is. It's so weird. Why is he doing that? Why is he hiding? Uh. Now where is he? Why is he being so weird? Where? 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 Yeah. Maybe he's the boss of the bee. I don't think so. But why does he keep doing that? Why is he stalking everyone? I don't know. We're leaving. So nothing came of it really. I think that he was just amazed to see brown people. I mean, that happens a lot to us, especially like we're, when we're on a train. Like people are really like amazed to see brown people and it just, that's it. Like that's it, it was nothing else to it. So we just left and it was a good day after that. The very last thing that's been going on is homegirl's car got towed. So let me explain. I kept hearing this rattling noise in my car, right? And I'm like, what is this noise? Like it's so loud. And I'm like, what is it? 
So one day I was driving and something like fell. And I'm like, okay, let me take it to the auto port and see what's going on. So I took it to the other base, to the auto port. And they basically said like my muffler or something like came on loose or something and I was like okay fine like just put it back together so they put it back together and they said nothing else was wrong with the car <laughs> a few days later child I'm driving almost home like literally like three minutes away from the house and child I hear boom boom and I'm like what is that like something really just fell apart in this thing right so okay <sighs> child I'm almost to base, I'm almost to my house, and it's hard for me to turn. And I'm like, this car is literally about to shut off. Like, it's about to give out. The battery light is on, the like lights are coming on, like they're flickering on, like it's, a, it's about to go down. I get on base, thankfully, and I get to park my car like right by the gate. And child, I open up the hood, the serpentine bike, the serpentine belt, I think that's how you say it, then just fell out, like, the whole thing, like the whole structure just boop, like the belt is like down, like it fell. I'm like, ain't this about a blip? Like this is crazy because I just left the auto port a few days ago and they said nothing was wrong with the car when I've been new that this thing was making a loud ratchet noise. So I'm like, okay, let me call the insurance company. Thankfully, the insurance company um, has like a tow service, a free like one-time tow service. So they came and got the car the next day, like early in the morning. Hi. Okay, so we had to push the car from its original space, which is right here, back. Uh, and I guess he's gonna turn his truck around so that he can tow it. Let me tell you something. You just cannot trust the base mechanics, okay? Because I just took my car there a few days ago and they told me nothing was wrong with my car, but I knew better. I'm like, there's something wrong with this car. And so the dilemma was go to base where the mechanics over there speak English or go out in town where the mechanics don't speak English, but they know what to do because these are their cars. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a Japanese car. These are cars they work on all the time. They know the ins and outs. Like this is they, this is their livelihood. Like this is they ish, right? So I was like, you know what? The hell with base because they done already screwed me over one time and one time too many for me, okay? So I take it to the auto shop down the street. Child, he quote me one price because I told him like the serpentine belt had fell and he was like, okay. So then he called back and he was like, can you come back because I see some other problems. I'm like, this gotta be a joke. Okay. Oh. Um, this, this part, this part. Hi. Uh, it's a water pump. Mm-hmm. Uh, this. This part okay. lost. Okay. 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 Oh. Uh, it's, uh, this uh, water pump changing. Okay. Um, two or three days. Two or three days. Yeah. Uh, price. Uh, price. Okay. Uh, you made. Okay. Basically, the serpentine belt fell, and when it fell, it busted the water pump. So the total to repair the car was like $385, something like that. So I got the car fixed, thank God. And baby, that car sound like it's a brand new car. I want to take the car back to the States with me because it's like top tier now. Like, there's no noise, 
there's no nothing like it just it's just perfect now one last thing before I go so me and my uh, running partner are training for a 5k I've told you guys that I'm training for a 5k before and me and my running partner were running off base like around our area child there must have been like some kind of raised concrete and homegirl fell and when I say I fell I fell but I was like stumbling and I was like I could catch myself child I fell and scraped my hands look at my hands listen my hands my hands hurt do you hear me like I scraped up both of my hands I would insert pictures but I think that YouTube was probably gonna flag me but just know it was nasty okay like it was nasty so my hands are hurting and anyway that's way that's what has been going on with me i hope you guys are doing well hopefully i don't gotta come on here with no more stalker stories no more car issues no more crabs no more none of that okay we could just go up from here i have a bunch of other content coming for you guys some super fun things and that's it so i will talk to you guys later stay safe thank you guys for liking commenting sharing subscribing i really appreciate you so much Anyways, I gotta go. I got things to do. So I will talk to you guys later.